वेलकम वी विल स्टार्ट विथ वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन एंड देन गो इन डिटेल फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज क्लिनिकल ट्रायल इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री ए क्लिनिकल ट्रायल इज ए रिसर्च स्टडी इन्वॉल्विंग ह्यूमन पार्टिसिपेंट्स टू इवेलुएट द सेफ्टी एंड इफिकेसी ऑफ ए मेडिकल इंटरवेंशन वॉट इज यूज ऑफ क्लिनिकल रिसर्च और क्लिनिकल ट्रायल्स क्लिनिकल रिसर्च में बी यूज फॉर प्रिवेंशन ट्रीटमेंट डायग्नोसिस और रिलेविंग सिम्टम्स ऑफ डिसीज What are the different phases and their primary objectives of clinical trials? Primary objectives of clinical trials at various phases are as below. Phase one is for safety evaluation. Phase two, efficacy and side effects evaluation. Phase three, for confirmatory studies, and phase four, post market surveillance. How many participants take part in various phases of clinical trials? Number of participants varies based on the study design. You can refer details in below table, which is as per FDA's guideline. What is done in preclinical phase? In the preclinical phase, the trial is carried out in vitro and on animals. This is done to determine the extent of possible risk of the drug or therapeutic technique upon administration in humans. Define informed consent. informed consent is the process where participants are provided with comprehensive information about the trial possible outcomes and even possible risk to enabling them to make an informed decision before participating explain the role of principal investigators that is pi the pi is responsible for the overall conduct of the trial ensuring protocol adherence participant safety and data integrity What is randomization in clinical trials? Randomization is the process of assigning participants to different treatment groups by chance to eliminate bias and ensure objectivity in assessing treatment outcomes. What are good clinical practices that is GCP guidelines? GCP guidelines provide international standards for the design, conduct, performance, monitoring, auditing, recording, analysis and reporting of clinical trials what is declaration of helsinki the declaration of helsinki is a set of a ethical guidelines and principles for conducting medical research involving human subjects explain the purpose of the common technical document that is ctd ctd is a set of documents providing a common format for regulatory submissions facilitating the evaluation and registration of pharmaceutical products what is a crossover design in clinical trials a crossover design involves participants receiving different treatment sequentially helping to minimize inter subject variability differentiate between observational study and an interventional study observational studies observe subjects in their natural environments while interventional studies actively intervene to assess the effect of a treatment explain the concept of statistical power statistical power is the probability of detecting a true effect if it exists minimizing the risk of type 2 errors what is type 2 error in clinical trials type 2 error is the error of accepting that there is no effect or difference when in reality there is effect what is the purpose of a data safety monitoring board that is dsmb dsmb ensures participant safety and data integrity by periodically reviewing trial data and making recommendations to continue modify or stop a trial define adverse event and serious adverse event adverse event is any undesirable medical occurrence whereas serious adverse event is a severe or life threatening adverse event that requires immediate attention how are adverse events graded in clinical trials adverse events are graded based on the severity using a scale grade 1 for mild grade 2 for moderate grade 3 for severe grade 4 for life threatening or disabling 
ग्रेड फाइव फॉर फेटल और कॉजिंग डेथ वॉट इज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डेटा कैप्चर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डेटा कैप्चर इज ए सिस्टम फॉर कलेक्टिंग एंड मैनेजिंग क्लिनिकल ट्रायल डेटा इलेक्ट्रॉनिकली इंप्रूविंग एक्यूरेसी एंड एफिशियंसी एक्सप्लेन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ सोर्स डेटा वेरिफिकेशन सोर्स डेटा वेरिफिकेशन इन्वॉल्व कन्फर्मिंग दैट डेटा इन द ट्रायल डेटा बेस मैचेज द ओरिजिनल सोर्स डॉक्यूमेंट्स वॉट इज एन इन्वेस्टिगेशनल न्यू ड्रग एप्लीकेशन एंड आई एन डी एप्लीकेशन इज सबमिटेड टू रेगुलेटरी अथॉरिटीज टू इनिशिएट क्लिनिकल ट्रायल्स एंड इंक्लूड्स प्री क्लिनिकल क्लिनिकल एंड मैनुफैक्चरिंग डेटा वॉट इज ए न्यू ड्रग एप्लीकेशन दैट इज एन डी ए एंड एन डी ए इज ए सबमिशन टू रेगुलेटरी अथॉरिटीज कंटेनिंग डेटा सपोर्टिंग द सेफ्टी एंड इफिकेसी ऑफ ए न्यू ड्रग सीकिंग फॉर मार्केट अप्रूवल Define the role of a clinical research associate that is CRA. A CRA monitors trial conduct ensuring compliance with the protocol GCP and regulatory requirements. What is the purpose of a clinical trial audit? Audits verify the accuracy and reliability of trial data ensuring compliance with regulations and guidelines. How does a pharmaceutical company ensure good manufacturing practices that is GMP GMP ensures the quality and safety of a pharmaceutical products by establishing manufacturing standards and practices Explain the role of the quality control that is QC department in clinical trials QC ensures that trial activities adhere to predefined quality standards and identifies and addresses deviations What is the purpose of a risk evaluation and mitigation strategy that is REMS Risk evaluation and mitigation strategy is a strategy to manage known or potential serious risk associated with a drug and ensure its safe use Define signal detection in pharmacovigilance Signal detection involves identifying potential safety concerns through the analysis of adverse event data How do you address challenges in patient recruitment for a clinical trial? Strategies may include optimizing study protocols, collaborating with investigators and employing patient engagement initiatives. Explain the importance of adaptive trial design. Adaptive design allows for modifications during a trial based on the interim data, improving efficiency and flexibility. What is the concept of double blinding in clinical trials? Patients and research personnel have no way of knowing who is getting experimental medicine and who is getting the placebo or normal therapy is the concept of double blinding. What is post marketing surveillance that is PMS? PMS monitors the safety and effectiveness of a drug after it has been approved and is on the market. What is the significance of a placebo in a clinical trial and how is it ethically justified? Placebo has no therapeutic effect. A placebo is used as a control to assess the true effect of a treatment. Ethical justification includes the principle of equipoise and ensuring unbiased results. What is real world evidence that is RWE complement in clinical trials? Real world evidence refers to the data collected from the routine clinical care, patient health records and other sources in real world settings. Unlike data from the clinical trials which are controlled studies, RWE reflects how treatments and interventions perform in everyday practice. Explain the concept of equipoise in clinical research. Equipoise is the state of uncertainty regarding the comparative therapeutic merits or benefits of interventions in clinical trial ensuring ethical conduct last and very important question which guidelines are commonly referred for clinical trials in the pharmaceutical industry following is the list of five guidelines that are very commonly referred this includes ICH E6 declaration of Helsinki 
FDA's Code of Federal Regulation EU Clinical Trial and WHO's Guidelines. Keep watching PharmGrow. Subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.